So in our previous video, we have drawn a um, non-inverting amplifier in multisim. We're gonna now draw an inverting amplifier um, in multisim. So we are selecting an amplifier, um, simple amplifier. Now I have this in as my output. Um, since it's an inverting amplifier, I have to connect an input source. So I'm taking the AC voltage input source as um, that has to connect to the negative end. So I'm going to connect my negative end here. And I also need an input register and output register. So actually I need to um, put a register in between. I'm going to put this one a little far and a, um, a register in between and a feedback register here. Um, okay. So now I'm going to connect those. My input voltage goes to the register, and from the input register, it goes to the negative end. Since we're doing inverting amplifier, I also need um, a feedback register. That's why I'm um, connecting this pin, the output pin, to the um, this register, and this in going to connect at this point so my r2 is my feedback register r1 is the input register since um, i'm not uh, using the positive pin i'm just going to connect that uh, pin with the ground so i'll just put a ground here and um, i'm connecting it with the positive end and that's pretty much it for our um, oh i also need to ground the source so I'm just going to ground him. Okay. Um, so now you see that my R2, the feedback register, is 1 kilo ohm. I'm going to change the input voltage to a value. So if you double click and you can change value, say I'm going to do um, 3 volt. Um, so that's our, my input voltage, 3 volt, and 1 kilohertz. I'm going to measure the voltage from my input and also measure the voltage. Um, I think I didn't put it right, so I'll just put in one that is um, at that point. Okay. And the, this voltage is at the output of the amplifier, so that point. Okay, so now we'll see the output. Um, if we can see the graph, now you see that the voltage is um, inverting. So if I pause, and split it so you see the green one is the input voltage and the blue one is the output voltage and they are inverted so you see the green one is going up blue is going down and if we look our um, derivation of inverting amplifier that the um, the gain depends on the ratio of the r2 over r1 so in our case they are the same so the gain should be same and that's what we got that the voltage, input voltage and output voltage are the same, but we have inverted the uh, voltage. Now, if you want to get a different voltage, say if I change um, the um, R2 register by 2K, um, what happens? Um, if we run it, now you'll see that it has changed. And um, if we pause it, now you see the input voltage still remained the 3 volt, but the output voltage went up. And we went up how much value you can change it here from voltage. See so if you want to put um, negative 6 to positive 6 and plot it and zoom in. So you can just do that. Now you see the um, output voltage is the blue is 6 and the input voltage is 3. That means we have made a gain of 2, um, and um, that's by the uh, derivation we had. The um, um, If the out feedback register is R2, which is twice than the input register, your gain should be 2. So we have uh, amplified our input voltage by 2. So thank you.